Good afternoon everybody, here we are, long time no see. I'm Ellie. I'm Ellie. And we're the Yorkshire Dolly Mixtures, I you think. You think? Yeah. I don't know. It's been a while. It has been a while, unfortunately, but here we are. It's nice to see you all. Um, firstly, can I thank everybody for reaching out. Um, sadly, I've not been very, very well. Um, and to put it bluntly, depression is a bitch. So um, last time we filmed was September when we filmed together. And yeah, a lot has happened since then. Um, but we're back. Yay! Well, I am. I don't know about... I'm just drinking my tea. So, it's nice to see you all anyway. So, because we've not done one in a while, we thought we'd go through our roll the dice whips with you. Um, which we started at the beginning of the month. So if you're in the Yorkshire Stitchers Facebook page, um, if you're not, come over and join us, more the merrier, and um, we'll take it from there. But we've been doing the roll the dice and I did it yesterday, didn't I? So, I'm not sure you did. You, you mean you've not watched me? No. Oh, so you don't know no what number it is then, do you? I ain't got a clue. Do you want to know? Yeah, I suppose I'll need to know. It's number four. Okay. Number four. So, right, where do you want to kiss out? Start at number one. Number one! Find it first. <laughs> I'm good at that. Yeah. So, my number one is Anton Uffendil. Oh, you got your notebook out. Oh, well, I can't remember off the top of my head. That's just not good enough. Right, where amongst this lot is Anne? You know what I was saying about counting? Yes. For 2023, which was last year. It won't worry. It won't. I'll show you my counting for last year. Okay. You did quite a bit. One, two, three, four out of twelve. It's a good job we've got a visual representation then, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. I did work on them, I just didn't count. Um, we, we've got new blinds up, so the sun is absolutely shining through, isn't it? So we've got new blinds up, so we might not get the glare that we used to get, mm -hmm. which is good. So, what's your number one? My number one is Cat Lovers by Chardin Prouvé. Oh, definitely not. You're at it again. Sorry. Did, did, did you see that? Eyes? Do you mean you don't want it in front of your face? No, I said I'll put it in front of my oh, face. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I was trying to get rid of the glare. You see, yeah. there's no glare. It's not as bad as it was. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm working on. And how far have you got on it? I did not too badly. Oh, you got a cat. You got mm. a booty cat. Yeah. Is that brown or black? It's um, brown. I think it? it's 3371. Uh maybe not um it's 3021 all right 
It's actually brown. It's yeah. Brown. It looks black on the on there, but yeah. they're not actually brown. Cute. Yeah, it's nice. Cute. I'll have a click with yeah. motifs on it. I do as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that one coming out. So I can get some work done it. Well I'm sorry but I didn't pull number one out. I pulled number four out. It'll come out eventually. So mine is Anton Uffendel. There we go. And number one. You will notice I haven't stitched a lot. I've not done a lot of stitching. Um, I have been doing some crocheting. Um, because I'm going to be a grandma. My daughter's expecting a little girl, so and we've named well, she's named her Bonnie, so it's something for me to look forward to, which is good. But anyway, back to the stitching. There we go. Yeah, you've done quite a bit. You have done quite a bit because you've done that tree there, haven't you? Yeah, I did that a whole section. Yeah, did you do uh, that, that? Yeah, I did all well. that. Yeah, yeah. Last time I got it out, and then that starts whole... coming down here a bit. That's right, yeah. There you go. So I'm really pleased with that. It'll be nice when it's finished. So whenever it gets finished, there's no time limit on these things, is there? No. Which is good, because the way I'm going. Yeah. No time limit. I like that. That was my name. Did you hear it? I did. Yeah. So, so that's Anton. So that's my number one. So what have you got for number two? So number two is Maggie the Mess Maker. Oh, yeah. Fell out with Maggie, didn't I? Well, when I watched September's when we filmed last, you were working on her. Yeah. It was more reverse stitching than it was going forward. Right. But anyway, this is Maggie. I actually saw someone, it was either on Instagram or one of my Facebook groups has just finished it. All right. Um, so, I wish I could say it spurred, spurred me on. And it's not spurred you on? No. So, this is where I've got to so far. Not quite a lot though. Yeah, but it's still only technically one page. Not even a page. Honestly. Yeah. It's, um, it's literally this. Alright. Don't worry, it's not time limit. Yeah. But I'm, um, I was doing the little dog which is, it's actually a tape measure. It's tons oh, of tape measure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and that. it was when I was working on that, yeah. that I discovered I'd gone wrong somewhere. So I was having to ah. do a little bit of reverse stitching and this bit at the top with the, with the flowers. With the, with the flowers. Yeah. I was just like, every time I looked, I thought, nah, I'll just do another, <laughs> something else. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But uh, again, it will come out. I mean, this is all, that looks like it's all, oh, it has come out. I need to go back and put it back. Because some of it is half stitch. And half time. stitch, but some of it is two strand half stitch. Some of it is one strand half stitch. And some of it is full cross stitch. So it's a bit sort of, so you've got all the different. And then you've got your back stitch as well. And then you've got your back stitch as well. And God knows there's plenty of that in there. There is an awful lot in it. But when you look at the, like the symbols, you've got, you've got cross stitch, combined colours. You've got half cross stitch, combined colours. 
you look at cross stitch using two strands of one colour, half cross stitch using two strands of one colour and half cross stitch using three strands of one colour. So it's, um yeah. What a mess. It's not, it's not one of these things that you can just pick up and go, yeah, 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 yeah. You've never seen me do. No. No. So, yeah, she will, I will sort her out. Um, and uh, figure out where I've gone wrong. Okay. And, uh, and then it will be full steam ahead. Yeah. Ish. Of course it will. So yeah, that was number two. And my number two is Maria. Mm -hmm. And our friend Di has just finished this. Yeah, it's lovely. She took it to the frame as she said. So, so it's Maria fin oh, Vincenza Loreccia. You've got to say it like an Italian accent. Look, just because I've been to Italy doesn't mean to say I can speak Italian. So I'm doing this on 40 count. I started doing little cards. Mm -hmm. Just help me. So it's stitched on 40 count little bunny. With silks for you. PR126. Does my card say so? Just don't get your cards mixed up, do you? Well, I've told it's got. Oh, it's got the name on yeah, it. Yeah, it's got the name on it. And oh, when I started it. Yeah. So. As long as you'll get your specs on, you'll be all right. And she's back. So. Yeah, oh, upside down. So from when I showed it last time, I've done... Do you want me to hold a cord? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I can I've... hold it over my face. What, over both his faces? It's that big. So I've basically done no. Done now? No. Since last time, since September. And Dari's finished it. All right. Well done, Di. So, yeah. You put your finger out then. Just saying. Yeah, not a lot of stitching got done in September and October. Actually, I don't think any got done in September and October. Yeah, I think we had family stuff going on. Yeah. Sadly, um, my uh, father-in-law became very very ill and passed away on the 20th of October which sent me over the edge so that's why nothing got done on it mm -hmm. so that's my number two okay so that's number three to find my number three <coughs> Number three, it's coming out. Oh, everything's collapsing. So my number three is Enchanted Mermaid. She's a... Uh, been going on for quite a while. But, 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 you've done loads on her. Yeah, it's all I've been stitching on recently. Absolutely stunning. Really is. Well done. Yeah, quite pleased with how I've got on. So the bit I've been concentrating on is the top part of the tail. So this bit in here, 
and then coming down a bum. here. A bum. Yeah, she's got a, a bum, bum now. She's been missing a bum, but she's definitely got one now. So that's what I've been doing this last, probably the last month or so. Yeah. Is that I've literally just been concentrating on her. Um, so I've got, I'll come down here. So then there's other bits that need to come down to join up here. Yeah. I still get a bit to do along here. Um, and then I'll do the same because I've got some bits that come down here. And a tiny little bit at the bottom to finish off the tail at the bottom. Um, and then I can start getting the crinics in. And once the crinics are in and they're all done, then it'll just be the beading. Yeah. And it should be finished. So I, I know I say this every year and you must be fed up with me saying it. But I am hoping for a finish this year. I don't see why not. I took it to Nick Natter. It was last last week, last Saturday. Um, I sometimes take knitting or crochet with me, but um, more often I take stitching with me and the ladies were admiring the, the fabric. Um, so it's, um, it's a sparkly called Cancer and it was when she brought these shades out she brought a whole load of zodiac um dyes yeah. out and this was one of them so um and i just i was wanting something that reflected sea that wanted to, to look like the sea so and i think it's a good choice it is yeah yeah so yeah so she will definitely be getting some love this month you know what? I don't know what I've done with my number three. What is your number three? Christmas garden. Blackbird designs? Yeah, see I even knew what design it was. <coughs> That's the one that you're doing, that was for... Um, the bell. Yeah. Oh, I found it! I found it. It was there all the time. Out of Home for the Holidays, Blackbird Designs, Ooh. and it is oh, 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 Christmas Garden. Now, I did do a bit on this, I remember doing Ooh. a bit on it. I can't remember how much I did on it, but I did a bit on it. And I've even got a highlight still in there. Oh, god, it's still got the chart attached to it. So I did do some. Mm -hmm. Take my chart off because you don't want to see that. No. Just a working chart. Yeah, working copy. Always have a working copy. Cut a crease. So I finished the border. Uh -huh. So, and then we've started on the crux of the border. You've just got to finish off the yeah round along the, the bottom of the border and just that tiny little bit down there. Straight hair, yeah. mine. Yeah. But yeah, um, I can't see why this can't be finished this year. I don't see why not. I really can't because. The border's in there and it's just a case of filling in. Yeah. What you should do is just choose one that you, you definitely want to get finished and more or less concentrate on that so you can get fed up. And for me, that'd probably be two days. For me as well. Mm. So, but yeah, so that's my... Um, Christmas garden. God, why did I go blank? I don't know. That's not good. And it is done on my... Rolling. Yeah. No comment. I've never been blonde, I didn't know. <laughs> Probably um, just all blondes out there. Yeah, I've got 
two blonde sisters. Anyway, it's on um, Dr. Smith's tonic. <laughs> we can't get any more. So that is my number three. How are they doing? You're molting as well. Yeah, it's nice cat hairs that are molting. I'm going to just stab myself. Right, so number four is. Oh, this April. This is, this is what I'm going to be working on this month. And it is. Renaissance Mermaid. Oh, another mermaid. Yeah, you were working that. You'd just been working on that in September. Yeah. Oh, I do like this. I, one. I would say I like that. I like them both. It's a, this is another sparkly fabric. It was a fabric of the month, but I've got no idea. It was just a random fabric of the month. Um, sack. So I think we're, yeah, we're that way. Still working on the hair. She's got a lot of it. She has, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you should get loads done on that this month then. Well, next month, April. Yeah, well, this is, this is the bit, that's that's the bit there that I've been working on. You can see that. Yeah. Just this bit here. Um, so I was kind of working up towards the body. Yeah. Um, and then I was going to work my way up, do the body, the head, the rest of the hair, and then start working my way down the tail. Because it's got... Um, Karen Water Lilies in it, which are lovely. Lovely car, Karen Water Lilies. Now you do Let's see. Oh, that's beautiful. That is really nice. Red's got two in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, lovely. It's blueberry and sea glass. Yeah. Three guesses which one's which. Oh, I think the blueberry might be the blue one and the sea grass might be the green one. It's sea glass, not sea grass. Oh. So, yeah. Um, Lots to be getting on with there, so I hope to make quite a lot of inroads on it. Mm. Oh, oh, we're talking, weren't we? And we thought one of our floss tubes would go through all our charts. For mirrors. Oh, that's a nice um, blue charm. Oh, you can see it. Gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That's her, um, that's the centre of her handbag. Yeah. I have seen this finished and it's gorgeous. Yeah, uh, Charisse. Yeah. Um, it was actually Charisse. I saw her working on it at one of the retreats. And then the following retreat, she brought it back and it was framed. Yeah. And I'd, I'd never, I don't know how I'd never seen it before, because I do like my mermaids. Um, but yeah, I'm a, I like pretty shiny things. So I guess that's what I'm going to be working on in April. Yes, it is. And I'm going to be working on Elizabeth Weston. Look, we can't. Did a count for this one as well. So, 40 count, the Swigart Light Mocha, and all the call for the DMC. And there she is. Oh, 
and I haven't worked on this since the last time you saw it. There we go. So I did get the crux of the border done last time you saw it. And I'd started the basket, which was there, but I've not touched it since. She's actually big. Yeah, she is. She's a big girl. Somebody actually asked me on Instagram if I was still working on my big, my baps. Your big ass projects. projects. I wasn't sure if people still called them that. Yeah. So, that's my number four. Are you struggling there? Um, I've talked to the chart. You have? And you're a bit more flexible than I am, thank you. <laughs> Don't comment. <laughs> Keep your comments to yourself. Thank you very much. So, number four. So, sorry for those that have got um, headphones on. Five. Did you not see no other? My heart. Yeah. But I can just throw mine all over, can't I? Yeah. Where was I? To yeah. Pack them well. So, Win Win Fairy, it's uh, one of the few kits that I actually work on. I don't really do kits. Um, so she is, she said, what? I'm thinking of, um, Maggie the Messmaker. Yeah, well, I've had that for a long time. Um, so she is being worked. I, I swapped out the fabric because it was just a horrible, 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 horrible. And instead I'm using Sparkly's Winter Skies, which I love. Beautiful fabric, isn't it? It is. Gorgeous. And I do like that fabric. I must yeah. admit. That's more or less where I've got to. <laughs> so, um, Stuart Cook um, claims that he was forced into buying this when he saw it on a floss tube. It, it tells such lies. Right. Stuart the cook. I hope you're having a really good time at Scottish retreat this weekend, Stuart and Andrew and Jane and everybody else that's there. Did you see? Got third place. Third place where? What where? They were they were doing um giving sort of like first, second, third places for finishes. Oh, and he got third place for what? For his, um, or his head, the round one with the cat. Oh, yes. Um, oh, I can't remember what they call it. And we third? Yeah, but you, you should have seen what came first. So that came first. Oh, well, I'm not surprised about that. So, oh, well done, Karen. Where's it gone? Oh, there. So that came first. Is that Hamish? Hamish, yeah. He's gorgeous, isn't he? Um, I love the fact that he's got a blanket on. That came second, which is a, a Bella. Uh-huh. And we got... 
sorry about the glare from the door and that's Mr McCook third place yeah. with his there we go sorry about showing everybody's faces you can shoot me later yeah so, yeah oh it was Eileen it was Eileen that did the what the villa that one she's not even there I know is that Lorna I can't remember I think it's Lorna anyway well done to the three of you my number five is Mary395. Oh, yeah. So, another big girl. Mm -hmm. Why do I always go for big ones? I've got absolutely no idea. And this is done on Morel. My mum would say your eyes are bigger than your belly. That could be true. And it's also with a sparkly. No, that's, um, um floss feet <laughs> silks for you. <laughs> Dumb. Um PR. Is hard for this? No, I haven't because they were down there and I've I've only done oh, them right. there. Okay. So and here we go. Here's my bed linen. Yeah. That, I did actually do a little bit on this, uh -huh. but I could tell you where. I, I'm presuming it's up there because that's where your your needle is. Is it? Yeah. Oh, right. Might, oh yeah, look there. Love it. She's a big girl. What is with me and big projects? Why can't I do something little and simple? Tell me. I don't know. That's my number five. No idea. Okay. Number six. Number six is number six is oh, another kit. Yeah, but this one. <laughs> remember, this one came to me as yeah. a request. So it's the carousel. With her uh, gorillas. With gorillas, I. Ah, I've missed this. So, this was. It's one of the ladies at my knit and natter who was helping an old lady move into a nursing home and they were decluttering. And the old lady was a stitcher and had started this. And Alison asked me if I would mind finishing it. Um, and of course, I said, sure thing. And I think the last time I was having a bit of problem with this chappy here, his blazer. His blazer was really doing my head in. Was it? Yeah. Just... Couldn't get on with it at all. But as you can see, I've not only finished his blazer, He's got a pair of trousers and he's got a little boy clutching yeah. onto his hand. So I'll be able to just move along the bottom now, do all the put all the people in. Yeah. And then move back upwards and get them gorillas in there. That's good. Yeah. So every year I'd, I'd, I say this might be finished, but I'm not promising out. Yeah. Apart from anything else, it's on Ada, and I'm not the biggest fan of Ada. Um, but I do want to try and get it finished. So we'll see. What this space is it say? Oh, what have I done with it on the side? So mine is pandemic. Now pandemic. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. So, pandemic last year was October, so it didn't get touched. Got news for you. What? Tammy's taking pandemic to the Scottish retreat with her. Just saying. Oh, Tammy, Tammy. Tammy. 
tummy, tummy, tummy. Catching it, and I'm, it's not even in my rotation. I'm used to going my five for five. I oh, know, but I'm, I'm down here. Right. No, I'm there. It's not a rush. Just show them where. Uh, done the birds, and I started finishing off this, um, and I've moved across here a bit as well. Right, five for five it is. Silly. I do do it sometimes, Tammy. But it's only if she gets a page finish. I still need to do it. It needs to... No comment. It's only at something like ridiculous percent. I wrote it down. 13.6%. That's more than mine. I've done ten and a half thousand stitches on it. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> For my five or five, I might do it where I do five hundred stitches. Because it's still five, isn't it? Yeah. So if I've got five projects, do five hundred stitches, move on to the next one, five hundred stitches, move on to the next one. And then we rotate it throughout the month. And then at least I'm getting 500 stitches in. Yeah. And that's quite easy to do for me. Yeah, because it's just 100 a day. Well, it's not oh, even that. No, I did 500 last night. Yeah. Right. Can't remember the last time I did. Oh, yeah, I can remember the last time I did 500. In one day? Yeah. Right. When we were up in Scotland. Okay. So, I'm going to make And she just tosses it across the room. Right, number seven. What's your number seven? Ah, you should have that finished this time. Yeah, so you keep telling me. There is no reason why you shouldn't. It's honeybees. It's <laughs> another kit. <laughs> I don't do kits. No, I don't do kits, but this one was, it was an exchange in one of the groups that I used to be in. And it was sent to me. And when I first got it, I looked at it and I went, I don't know if I like that. Sorry if you can hear this. Well, I've got a sharp nail. Okay, I bought I broke three vouchers today. That one, that one, and that one. You really weren't having a good day, were you? No. Okay, I'm going to no that. Way the one. Um, but uh, the more I looked at it, the more I thought actually it's it's actually okay. And then I thought actually it might look quite nice in my kitchen. This was the kitchen back home in Glasgow. Bearing in mind she's been in Yorkshire how many years? Ten? It'll be ten years next Sunday. There you go. Ten years. It'll be ten years next Saturday because I started work at Tripley ten years next Sunday. If we're going by So date. you started on the 31st? Yeah. Moved down on the 13th. Started work on the 31st. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, it was going to go in my kitchen. This is where it is. I used it as a round. You've only got a bit to do at bottom. Or I've got... You've got that flower to finish. I've got the flower to finish. I've got the words down there and I've got the bottom of the frame. Pretty much. And the back stitching. I challenge you, I challenge you to finish this this year, regardless. So that has to go in your five of five. Don't you agree? She needs to finish it. 
I am putting my foot down and I don't often do that so I'm a good lady apparently I'm very kind mm, apparently I'm not my, my husband said I was very kind today well you, your husband very kindly made me a cup of tea he did Her favourite project besides pandemic. So it's our forest embroidery. I managed to get a picture. There we go. So our forest embroidery. Yeah. <laughs> Have I done any? <laughs> Don't think so. Yeah. No, I am. Um, from last time we saw it, so I'll, uh, ever that was August. Mm -hmm. So I haven't picked it up since August. So oh, since okay. last time, you still done more than me. But again, five hundred stitches. Yeah. So that would be like a hundred a day. Or five hundred a night. Well, that's night day, whatever. You know I can do it. I know you can do it. It's really cool. So, yeah. And it's on a big sheet. Mm -hmm. And it's on. I don't even know what Not it's on. Not as big as mine. It's an extrude design 40 count, but I can't remember what the colour is. Next. It's your favourite. Yeah. My favourite. Mm -hmm. I've got a favourite. Yep. <gasps> it's your day. Oh, it's not about. Thank God for that. So it's Yoda's Hill, Hill by Diane Gregner. Yoda. Yoder. Anywho, I better get my next one ready, Helen. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. Ooh, well, I like the next one. So this, it's a very long piece of fabric. It is. So it's, uh, I've been working on the tree at the side. So if I could get my tree finished, I'd be happy. You know how I'm saying 500 stitch? I've just had this brainwave. Oh God, I don't know what. Why don't you just uh, do 50 stitches? That's doable. Yeah. Sorry about that, that is my noisy neighbour. Yeah, it's going to come out again. I know. <gasps> yeah, that's... Uh, there's, a, there's a backstory to this as well, but I won't bore you with the details. Just look on um, September's, because you did ask to explain it in September's. Oh, did I? You did. <laughs> this. I have done so much on this. Yeah, you've really been working on that one. Yeah, to a point I'm going to have to take it off its things to show you how much I've done. So this is Mirabilia's red. Um, what have I done with picture? Do you know what I've done with picture? No idea. Why don't you know? Because it's in your house, not mine. I don't know what I've done with picture. I can't show you a picture, but you'll you'll get a good idea. Yeah, I have worked loads on this. Really have. Come on, Sorry. To 
point I've even put protective stuff on my Q snap. I have worked loads on this. So this is where we are at the moment. I'm right. Yeah. Leave. I said, sorry, I was in the middle of a yawn. <laughs> I noticed. Yeah, so I've yeah, done loads. Say, you've, you've done, oh, you've, you've filled all that bit in there. Yeah, so that is the bottom of the cape and the bottom of the dress. Yeah, and you start to come in up here a bit. Yeah. Fill in this bit in here as well. Yeah. Which is the, the front of the dress. Yeah. So, yeah, you've done absolutely loads on it. So. And it's nice on that fabric as well. And this is, um, it's a wide gap. And, oh, I can't remember what they called it. But it's got like grey, grey clouds on it. Um, but yeah, I have actually really enjoyed working on that. I think it were over Christmas, wasn't it? I worked mm -hmm. in January. Um, and I did get quite a bit in it. Because uh, sadly I have, I have been off work from November up until this last week, I actually went back to work this week, so that's how better I am. But yeah, I'm really pleased with that mm -hmm. one. I have really enjoyed doing that. So that is my red. Woohoo! What are you laughing at? Yeah, I'll sort that out later. Number nine is Roses of Provence. And I haven't done a great deal on this at all. Just did a smidgen, in fact. Is it? I did 136 stitches on it. And it's on, guess what? Sparklies? Yeah. Um, I should be on commission. Um, it's called Misty Morn. Misty Morn? Mm -hmm. And that's... Ah, that's it. <laughs> I'm not even entirely sure if that's upside down or not. Um, um, I could tell you. No, it is the right way up. It is the right way up. Oh, wow. But she is, she's big and she's worth doing. Yes, because she's beautiful. And she she's is finished. very beautiful. And she'd be even nicer. And she's pregnant. Yeah. I don't know what I've done on the channel. Maybe it's over there again. I haven't got it. No, neither have I. Quite far away. Oh, this is the one that you were doing when you went to that retreat where I caught. COVID. Yes, it was. Five, five fairies. Mm -hmm. Can't be far away. So I can't show you a picture. I did do a bit. Yeah, it was that way, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell what it is yet? Yeah, for what go there? Next! <laughs> right, guess what my next one is. is look at the threads on that. It's got... Oh! I recognise 
fabric. Mm -hmm. Now, I did get this out. I was saying, because it's your 10, it's number 10. Yeah, I know. So you should be working on it this month. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but we've still got, what date's today? 25th. Right, you've got a week. We've got six days left. You've got a week. And I've got, I've got four days off next weekend. You've got a week. Yeah. So it might get some love. If I can find the green thread. Because I've filched it to put it into something else and I haven't worked out where I've put it yet. Uh, okay. But, but you can always start carry on below. Yeah, I could do. But this is, I'd, I had decided last month to take it along to the red line. And I thought I'd put it in a hoop. And I don't normally use hoops. I've got plenty of them upstairs. You took your stand and we all had a really good laugh. Yeah. A really good laugh. But I discovered why I was struggling so much. Because I was sitting right in front of the table. So I wasn't able to manoeuvre it. I needed to be sitting side on. Yeah. That would have helped. Yeah. But um, with hindsight, I probably should have done that. But... By that time, I was like, oh, I'm fed up with this. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's where I got to with ever flowering Garden. Garden. It's a good job you didn't say that because she said a very naughty word. And this is the size of my fabric. She's doing it on 28 count. <laughs> 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 it's going to be big. It's a fat yard and it's 28 count and it's by Needle and Flax, and it's called Pemberley, and it was gifted to me by the lovely Gina. It was, yeah. Who, who commented on my Roll the Dice video yesterday? Oh, did she? Exactly. She did, yeah, saying how well I looked. Good. And it was nice to see me. See, some people love me. Yeah. That was a lot of people don't love me. Right, what's my oh mine I worked on mine last night. Way. What have I done with him? Not really. Oh there he is. There he is. Just as well your hubby doesn't actually know what it is that you're working with. It is, yeah. So let's get my iPad out again so you can see what it is. So we're working on Dark Force. It's is a Tilton Crafts uh, box. Where are you? There he is. Which was um, a limited edition. So it's now out of print. But there we go. Dark Force which I am doing for my lovely husband, eventually. That means that he's not going to be a husband eventually, that means he is a husband. And but it'll eventually get it done. Eventually get it done, yeah. So, I worked it out last night, it, yes, the so. end of the, the, so I'm near the end of the top row. Uh -huh. So it bends there where my finger is. So this is what I've done so far and I started this page last night. Mm -hmm. So but there we go. It's coming up. It is. And that was 529 stitches last night. And I started it about half past seven. I didn't do any stitches last night. And I did. Mm -hmm. I just watched Mind on the Hill Boring TV. Couldn't even tell you what I watched. So, <clears throat> I've decided, in my wisdom, 
a lot of people doing the full coverage with the diagonal lines mm -hmm. on um, their pattern keeper. Mm -hmm. So I'll put the diagonal lines in after I've done this bit so you can roughly see mm -hmm. it's there. Yeah. So I just need to fill that little bit in and that's the first diagonal done on that page and then take it to the next one. And it's going to be 20 stitches wide. And then you don't get that column. Mm -hmm marks because yeah. it's going that way yeah. rather than you do um, you do a lot of full coverage stuff though don't you um which is probably i see i don't do full coverage yeah um i don't mm. think unless i've got one that's full coverage am i gonna mess make his full coverage oh yeah i suppose she is yeah she's a little mad on but she is yeah yeah so okay yeah, that's why I know I can put 500 stitches in in a night. Mm -hmm. And I'd probably have done more if I hadn't been talking at the same time. Yeah, some people can't walk and talk at the same time, so some people can. can't stitch and talk at the same time. I can. But not at the red line. Because I put about 70 stitches in yesterday afternoon. Something um, more than me. Because we were. Culling my whips. Culling them. Culling them. Mm. Got rid of four. But we won't go there today. Okay. There we go. So that's my number 10 that I will be working on late tonight. Um, because I'm on face return during the week, I've got um, Innis to do, which is Northumberland sampler houses. Um, well, Scottish um, stitch along mm -hmm. for this year yeah. and I'm doing the model stitch as I did last year for Miss Brown um, so I'm going to work on that up to tea time and then after tea mm -hmm. so. right we're getting there we're on number, number 11 we're on number 11 and my number 11 is Little House Needleworks, the bookshop. Um, and I really got stuck into this, didn't I? You did. When I was working on this. Um, Again? What? 50 stitches. I know. Well, what I'm doing is, I'm doing a quarter at a time. Right, okay. So I'm going to do, so when I pick it up again, I'll do Wuthering Heights, although it's probably going going to go into my five and five. Right. Um, so I'll do Wuthering Heights, then I'll move across, do Sense and Sensibility and Little Women, and then I'll move up. And again, Stuart McCook is blaming me for picking this one up as well. And that's... Yeah, I know. That's uh, where I got to. Yeah. So really really pleased with what i've achieved with that one and i really really enjoyed it didn't i you could put it down i know i don't know what it is about the little house needleworks and the country cottage needleworks but i really really enjoy working on them and uh it's even got a little bee in it little bee. so um yeah i'm really pleased with that so it will get Wuthering Heights done and I'm going to pick it up again. I won't ignore them, yeah, I'll we'll just try to find no, this. Yeah. So yeah, that's number 11. So my number 11 is my William Morris one, mm -hmm. which is Orinoco Originals and it's a uh, William Morris design in pink and greens for Loden, which is and I did put up a few thousand stitches in this as well. So I'm sticking there. I didn't even count the stitches that I put into the book though. That's not like you at all. Um, I really should put, well it's finished so, well that part of it is finished so I really should put them in. So I got across That's, to the top. That is nice, I do like that. Yeah. The pinks and the greens. 
it's really very nice. very confetti heavy yeah very confetti heavy to the point um the other people that had started it have given up have given up yeah even sandy even sandy but i really like kit so i'm sorry but i am keeping on with it and i did do a fair bit from last time you saw it and i started this on the first of august for yorkshire day mm -hmm. so yeah i don't think i did a, did i do a yorkshire day still i think i did start i think bear with me let me have a look Oh yeah, I think my Yorkshire Day start was... Was your Long Dog Sampler. Yeah, one. my quilts. Yep. It was. So, it's at 21%. Um, so I've done 8,000 stitches on that. Mm. Really? That's why I like Pattern Keeper. Yeah. See, so nearly all my charts are paper charts. I know. I don't use Pattern Keeper as much we were on about this yesterday if you can get them onto pdf majority mm. of them will go into pattern keeper yeah so that is that one and i've got all the threads mm -hmm. threads are nice yeah those colors oh nicely Right, so last but not least, number 12 is Nantucket Rose. So, um, and, uh, She's on my to-do list. I'm just gonna let her get a head start. Well, it's gonna be. And she's nearly full coverage. Well, I haven't even started it yet because I've decided that I didn't want to do it on the green. So I need to get some, I want to do it on a blue All right. hand dye. So I need to have a look at, um, don't know, I have a spark this all have a look at um, arts and design see what yeah. they've got um because uh, joe is doing it my friend joe in sheffield hello joe um and she's coming on really well with it um and i really want to get stuck into it because i wanted to do it for so long and of course you were the one that gave me the chance so yeah I need to get my finger out, as they say. And I've got it as well. And you've got it as well. She's giving me a head start. She'll still film the shit before I know. Right. So my number 12 is a Christmas gift of my darling husband. And I did start it last year. Queen of Flower Fairy by... Bella Filipina. Um, I did make a good start on this actually. I am doing it on a sparklies, but I can't remember the colour. And I don't think I've got the thing in here. Got all my beads. Everything's in here apart from the blood lemon. Thing, but anyway, um, got cards there. I know, but it's not on the card oh, either. The card. Oh. So I did start this in August. I actually started it when I was on holiday for my mm. birthday. See what what you're doing on the cards is what I'm doing my project. Book. Yeah, but I like this idea. My idea. There we go. So I've start I made a good start on my dress. You did, yeah. So I'm really pleased with that. Yeah. Look at that needle stuck in the fabric. Ooh. So I'm 
So I'm yes. guessing at least I don't have a needle is if it's stuck in the fabric. Do you know mean needles? Yeah. So that's my number 12. Yep. So that's our, all our roll the dice for this year. Mm -hmm. Mine is just the same as last year because... Uh... Well, mine what? I transferred everything over apart from um, Spirit of Alanda because I'd finished, finished it. That. And what else did I take out? I put something else out because I really wasn't feeling the love. Jane Fiddis. Oh. oh. Yeah, I'm sure it was Jane Fiddis. <sighs> yep, Jane yeah. Fiddis and Spirit of Valanda and everything else has come across. Yeah. So, hence the two new spots at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I think we've done all right, don't you? I think we've done okay. I might count the stitches on the bookshelf when I get home. Yes. So I can put it in my book. Yes. And I need to write my list for 2024 because I've, I've, I've been reading off the last year's. <laughs> you know me. Uh, <sighs> and I'm all planned and prepared. Yeah, well, I've got one. Well, Diary. I'll show you what's in it. That was January. That was February. Well, actually, I've got the bookshelf in there. I've actually yeah, you've I've written in there diary. what I've what I've put in, so I've just need to transfer just it, it over. over. So I have used it for some things. Um, I didn't put. February in. But you can start from April. Yeah. Um, so I can do this month. Well, not much of this month left, but I can do this month and then get April in. Yeah. So I have put yeah. April in. I've put March in, but I haven't put it in. Yeah. It's down to April. Now roll the dice, finish and campion. Not seen her. Red, William Morris, mm -hmm. and Aninis. And I've only worked on Aninis and Dark Force. Because, do you know why? Because I had a new start, didn't I, at Dumfries? Yeah. At the retreat. And I really, really like my new start. What was it? It was um, Modern Folk Embroidery, oh, yeah. yes. Quilter's Dream. So let's just get a picture. What am I doing? What am I doing? Tell me what I'm doing. I've got no idea. Why don't you know? Because I'm not a mind reader. Why aren't you a mind reader? Because it's not a prerequisite. Mm of my job oh, you just and they stopped giving out crystal balls before I actually started the job so I, I can't help you there either but they're all supposed to show you the future aren't they not the past yeah I wouldn't know yeah. come on where are you got no idea yeah. where is it near somewhere no i mean where where is it on my knee all right so i liked the colors but i adapted it slightly so that is the quilter's dream i don't know if you can see can you see that it's a bit yeah you can see now yeah so i had a beautiful piece of fabric called uh, gingerbread mm -hmm. so i thought why not use the gingerbread instead of the orange so i did mm -hmm. i'm using two shades of blue and i have done loads
comment on that. So does that mean you're not going to stitch everything? Oh. So the pattern called for one shade of blue uh -huh. and the orange, which was basically those two colours. Uh -huh. So I swapped that out for that uh -huh. and used the orange as the fabric. Okay. So that's it. Okay. So it's just two colours. Yeah. You got it now. Sorry, that all my stomach. So I'm really lo loving that. And it's and not very big either, is it? No. And that's what I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. In between our minis, which I won't show you just yet. Mm -hmm. Just a little black as well. Oh, do you like that? Yeah, I do. I think the two blues go well together. Mm -hmm. And do you know what floss I'm using? It's not DMC. X CXC. God. And I'm not allowed any more new starts. Why not? Because I need to finish some of it. Yeah, you and me both. So, yeah. That was my... What I've been working on over the last month. Mm -hmm. Well, for the last three weeks. So. so I'm really pleased with that. And it has its card. And it's even got my stitch count on it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're about 25%. It's not bad. No. And it's with my new. Very nice. So there we go. Definitely my stomach. That will fit the tree. Right then. Are we all done? I think so. So I hope you've enjoyed our foray back into floss stew. It's been nice, hasn't it? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Good. I've just got this mess to clean up now. Yeah. I just need to cart these back upstairs to the craft room. Eventually. No, I'll take them all back upstairs. Okay. Well, it's getting into the time of year that I can actually start using the craft room again. It just needs to warm up a bit. Yeah, well I might uh, go up this afternoon, put the heating on and... Right. And sit up there for a couple of hours this afternoon because I can't get out to do any gardening because it's it is too chilly to be out gardening. Um, so very good. Yeah. And our audience has been fast asleep the whole time we've been filming. Yeah, she has, hasn't she? She's not even been over to say hello. No. We're under what we're all about. We're on about I my cat, I Millie. I did, I did get an acknowledgement when I came in. Did you? It was like, you're very lucky. Back. <laughs> She's been very, very clingy. Very yeah. clingy. So, yeah. She definitely knows her mummy's not being so good. They know, don't they? They do. But we're better now. Carry on popping the pills and I'll be fine. Yeah, you and me both. So... That's all us done. Yeah. So we're hoping two weeks. Hoping two weeks. Two weeks. Know. It might be later on because apparently I'm in Scotland that weekend. So we're going to do it when we get back. She literally lives in two countries these days. I do, yeah. So I'm up there next weekend. We're going up for Easter. Then Duncan's got football in Hamilton the following weekend so he wants me to go up with him to Hamilton. 
used to work just outside Hamilton, between Hamilton and Motherwell. That's where my Aunt Liz was born. Yeah. And my dad, Hamilton. I used to know you need to go to Chateau Row over there. Oh, right, and what's that? It's a country park. Oh, okay then, I'll try. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're going to have a few weeks in Scotland. And then we've got our cruise. Yeah, it's not not long to go. In fact, five weeks' time. Five we'll weeks. There. We'll be on our cruise. We will be on the high seas. Yes, we speak. High seas, that's the North Sea. Yeah, hopefully not very tropic. Because uh, we don't know what Suze is going to be like. She's never been on a boat, apart from that little ferry you were on last year. Yeah. So it should be... find a sea legs. She'll probably find them on the way back. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So thank you for sticking with us. Um, I hope you can subscribe and follow um, if you've not already. Tell everybody about us um, because we're back for good now, aren't we? Hopefully so. And thanks for all the lovely comments that you've been leaving. Yeah, they have been lovely. Over the last few months. And I have tried to do little half hours here and there, but sometimes I say I do it and then I completely forget about it. <laughs> These things happen. Yeah. Um, and hopefully I'm going to do a For the Love of Stitches at some point as well. So, yeah. Back to it. Mm -hmm. And our lovely followers. And our friends. Yeah. So, so thanks for bearing with us over the last few months. Um, and we will see you, fingers crossed, in two weeks' time. Yep. Okay. So take care, everyone. And I have to move now. I'm sure this sofa's sinking. <laughs> Same now. It's bad, isn't it? Right. Have a good two weeks. If I don't speak to you before, have a brilliant Easter. Not too many eggs. No, don't eat too much chocolate, but use the time wisely and do loads of stitching. Yeah, because that's what I'll be doing yeah. in Scotland. I've got a four-day weekend so I can sleep as much as I want. Yeah, I'll be sleeping and using a hot tub and yeah. doing a bit of stitching. If yeah. it's warm, I might get some gardening, but the forecast ain't right good for Easter, is it? No. Not so, we'll see. Right, take care everyone and we'll see you all later. Bye for now.